Example, in July of 2012, James purchased 2,000 shares of ABC Common Stock for 75,000. He then sold 1,000 shares of ABC in July of 2013 for 39 per share. The remaining 1,000 shares were finally sold for 50 per share in July of 2014. There A, let's draw a cash flow diagram for this situation and B, what is the ERR of the investment if the external reinvestment rate is 8% per year. So the first one here is we will make the cash flow diagram. 75,000 is the initial uh, cost of the 2,000 shares that James had purchased. And then he sold the 1,000 share for 39 per share, and that is worth 39,000. And for the next year, he then sold the remaining 1,000 for 50 peso per share. So that is equivalent to 50,000. So this is the cash flow of this particular problem. Now for letter B, let's find the ERR. So this is the solution. The 75,000 is the cost. So we have to project this into the present time. But since it is already on the uh, year zero, so the 75,000 will remain. And this value will be, will be expressed as a future amount given the present value at I prime percent. This I prime is the ERR for certain number of terms, which is 2 in this problem. For the benefits, the 39,000 is expressed as a future amount for the external rate, 8% per year, and then added with the 50,000, the future value of the 50,000, for the same rate of 8% per year. So solving that, this is 75,000 times 1 plus 0 0.08 raised to 0, that is still 75,000, and then multiply that with 1 plus i prime squared. Then for the benefits, these are the equations, and we can solve now for the value of I prime, and it's equivalent to 0.108272 or 10.8272%. So that is the ERR of this particular economic situation. Next example. The prospected exploration for oil in the outer continental shelf by a small independent drilling company has produced a cash flow. So at the end of year zero, it has negative $520,000. From 1 to 10, it has 200000 And at the end of year 10, we have negative $1,500,000. What would you recommend regarding the pursuit of the project? Customarily, the company expects to earn at least 20% per year on invested capital before taxes. Use the ERR method. Right. So to start the solution, we will draw the cash flow diagram of this problem. And this is it. So the 520,000 and the 1,500,000 are the costs and the benefits is 200,000 every year from end of year 1 to end of year 10. So this is the solution for that. The summation of present worth of the costs, which are 520,000 and 1,500,000, ,500, is this. So we have we will be expressing these two costs 
as present words. So 520,000 times 1 plus 0.2 raised to 0 since it is already on the present uh, present uh, year 0 on the on the cash flow diagram plus 1,500,000 times 1 plus 0.2 raised to 10. So we express this in pre at the present time and we add the 2. So the resulting, the summation of present worth of the cost is 762,258.374335. This value now will be expressed in future at the end of this economic at the period at the end of the period using the ERR right so here so that value it's the summation of the costs the present worth of the costs times one plus i prime raised to ten so this i prime now is the ERR and that is equated to the future worth of the benefits. So 200,000 have given A for 20% for K periods. So that's 200,000 times 1 plus 0.2 raised to 10 minus 1 divided by 0.2. With this equation, we can solve for the value of I, which is equivalent to 21.1493%. And let's see if this project is economically justified. The MARR is equivalent to 20%. And since our ERR is greater than MARR, then we can conclude that the project is worth pursuing and it is economically justified.